What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA back with an unboxing for you guys. And today we're bringing a brand new company onto the channel here. We have Bass Gorilla Baits, B BG Elite Baits. I stumbled upon them on Facebook, got in contact with them, got some information on some products, placed an order which I'm very happy about we're gonna do an unboxing right now if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook I'll leave links in the description on that you already know what we're gonna be looking at but if you don't we got some pretty cool unique new baits to me we're gonna look at awesome packaging on some stuff here the first thing we're gonna look at this is the Jungle Menace. This is the Jungle Menace. I really like the packaging on that. I have this in McGillicraw. I believe this is what they call their punching and flipping bait. It's kind of a swirl pattern of orange and maybe a green pumpkin. Awesome flake in it. There's some green flake. There's some orange flake. Really cool bait in my opinion. We are going to throw this in the test tank and see what all these flappers do. They're all beefed up. These two in the front, kind of cupped. And then the two in the back are the same deal. So we're going to see what kind of action we get out of the Jungle Menace in the test tank. Next thing we have here, which I believe is going to be money, is we have the Florida Bug. It's a beaver style, bug style bait, but it's got big flapping appendages on the front. Bunch of flanges on those to catch water, so I believe it's going to kick really, really well. Harris Hooker is like a transparent green pumpkin with some gold and some black flake in it. So you know that color is going to catch fish. Third creature bait I picked up is the flapping craw. Flapper craw. And this color is the rock crusher. Right there. We're going to call that the belly. This orange. And this darker color. The back. This is also something we are going to put in the test tank. Trying to get more light down here. Hang on. Ugh. Not a bad looking craw. The bottom's an orange with some black and orange flake in it. The top is a darker variation of brown with some red flake in it. You know, hard to tell, but it's going to be good stuff. It's going to catch fish. I know it is. The okay, next thing we're going to get into is they have a fluke style bait. They call it a fluke. They call it a fluke on the invoice, on the packaging. It's called a fluke. It's a six inch. So I'm a big fan, as you guys know, of a soft jerk bait. I have a ton of fives, fives and quarters. I have the super fluke and the eight. You know, the, the magnum slick nasty and a seven. The zoom, you know, magnum fluke. That's a seven inch, but I think this six inch is going to be a real game changer here. So you got a beefier fluke here, but it, it's not like a magnum where the body is going to be intimidating to some fish and too much of a, of a meal for them to take. You know, it's real heavy. It's going to cast like a bullet fishing weightless. Plastic seems real durable on it. You're going to get multiple fish on it. This is bougie shad. I really like bougie shad now that I see it in person. It's like a green pumpkin top with black flake. And the belly is a clear with all kind of like incandescent flake in it. Camera's kind of picking it up in the light. But that's bougie shad. I got ditch pickle, which is going to be your baby bass. Really digging this. Anything with like a white belly, I seem to do well on. You know, it's more natural. We have the sungill, 
which is going to be, I think, another awesome color for me. It's going to mimic like a perch, bluegill, hook slots, four or five lot extra wide gap hook. Check it out there and work it just like a fluke or a nasty, whatever you prefer. And the last color I got, this is I'm really excited about, is this melon pearl. I really, really like this color. You can see all the flake in the melon and in the pearl. You know, it's a watermelon red top with some black flake in it. And then the bottom's a, a white with black and orange flake in it. Really digging this color. And the last two baits I got from them is the scrambler worm. Very, very similar to like a zoom speed worm. Uh, Bass Assassin's Ding Dong. You know, this is this melon pearl again. Really like this melon pearl. See all that flake in the pearl. Get the red to pop there. This is the bigger version. This is a seven. I believe this is a six. I got the junior version of it. Awesome, awesome color. You can see the difference in the thickness of these two worms. So these are all these baits are going to get thrown. No doubt. I'm going to have to probably purchase more, no doubt. They come scented in gorilla sauce, they call it. And I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got a gar uh, garlic scent to it, very strong garlic scent to it, but there's something else in it I can't place. So it stinks so good, it's, it's going to attract fish and they're going to hang on longer. Good stuff. Like I said, Bass Gorilla Baits unboxing for you guys. We are going to throw in the Jungle Menace. Jungle Menace in the test tank. We are going to throw in, you know, the, the Flapping Craw, Flapper Craw. You know that's going to have a ton of action on it. Can't wait to see that. And the Florida Bug in the test tank. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out. If you want to go check them out, if you're on Facebook, look up Grass Bass Gorilla Baits on Facebook. If you want to go to the website, the Bass Gorilla Baits website, I believe, is under construction right now. They're just tweaking some things. Otherwise, you can go rwcfishing.com, and that's where I ordered them from. I will leave links to the websites down below. Check the description. And I'm going to get out of here very excited about this Bass Gorilla stuff. It's going to be a game changer on some of my fishing here. It's going to be very, very exciting. Stick around for the tank test. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure you like, share, comment, and of course, please subscribe. Channel's growing, 570 I believe we're at, so let's keep that going. And I will see you on the next video. we got another unboxing to do, so don't miss that one. Bye.